Lambert Acres here, and we are in my barn, and we are going to be making some corn coat. What is corn coat? I'm glad you asked. You take a bag of corn, and you coat it with a flavor or a scent that attracts the deer to that pile of corn faster, and uh, so that way you can establish sites, first of all, or if you have a feeder, you're going to get them in, eaten out of that feeder. That's a good thing. Uh, or also, you just... You're gonna hunt the next day, instead of just throwing corn out there, throw some little bit of corn coat on there, and it's pennies on a dollar to make. And I'll explain it all to you right now. So, you're gonna get a container. I got myself a old pretzel container here that we took the label off of. You're gonna get 32 ounces or two pounds of powdered sugar. I'm gonna open this up. All right, so we got our kilo of uh, sugar there. This is a uh, Chestnut Hill brand, bought from the dollar store. It doesn't matter what brand it is. Um, and all of the ingredients costed $7. And this is going to make uh, 400 pounds of corn coat. So the next ingredient is Jello. This is strawberry Jello. The real recipe actually calls for cherry, but my dollar store did not have the cherry Jello. Uh, so I got strawberry. And you want three boxes, so three boxes of Jello mix. So Old Timer told me this recipe, and I've seen some similar on YouTube, but this is the one that has worked the best for me for getting deer in front of a camera. So three boxes of Jello, one box baking soda, pure baking soda. This is 16 ounces. Okay, almost done. One container of Kool-Aid. It could be the off-brand. Deer don't care about labels. This flavor is Tropical Punch. It actually calls for grape Kool-Aid. Uh, but again, my dollar store did not have that. So, they didn't even have the off-brand stuff. So you're also gonna want an eight ounce uh, scoop or a cup scoop. This is eight ounces, I know it's eight ounces. And then while this is shaking, I'm gonna explain the next steps. So I have here in front of me uh, two lids that unscrew off of five gallon buckets, okay? They're scent free lids, that's why I do all my mixing of my stuff in. I got two of them. I'm gonna take one 50 pound bag, put equal amount in both those, and shake those up, and put one scoop per bucket in there. Okay? So I'm gonna shake this for about five, 10 minutes. So once you are convinced that it is fully shaken, then, like I said, you are gonna split your corn into two different five gallon buckets. So if you have a 50 pound bag of corn, that's 25 pound per bucket. In case you did not know. You're gonna open this carefully because this stuff will go airborne. We don't wanna waste it. So whatever we have on us, we're just gonna drop it in there. Then you're gonna put eight ounces in each bucket. Mmm, I can smell it. It's very strong. Sprinkling it on top. And eight ounces in the other bucket. So if I told you this made 400 pounds, then we got a lot of corn to do for less than seven bucks. And my scoop, I'm just gonna leave in there. And the lid is back there somewhere. So now we're gonna shake this up and we're gonna put this out in front of my uh, feeder because the big bucks haven't found the feeder yet. Little bucks have, big bucks haven't. So I'll show you what that looks like. And uh, I have used this before, different uh, flavors of Kool-Aid and Jell-O, uh, tomato, tomato. I think it'll work great and you should give it a try. You can try the original flavor of cherry, 
Jello and grape Kool-Aid to make sure it's spot on, but I don't have any, think you'll have any issues. Um, so I'm gonna shake these up and we're gonna go out to the feeder. All right, here we are at the feeder, which the big bucks have not found yet. There's my camera, my tree stands up there, and we are going to be, now you can see, you don't see any of that stuff that we put in here. It's all mixed in, it's coating the corn. See, it's all over my hands now. That's why it's called corn coat. So we're gonna put one bucket of this here, right underneath that feeder. And then usually I just use these buckets. I made this bucket just for that purpose. So I'm just gonna keep that bucket, put the lid on it. I'm actually gonna put one pile maybe out there to bring them, because they usually walk up and down here. So I don't know why they're not coming in. So I'll put it right out there so that they will start eating that. They'll see this pile and be like, oh, check it out, there's more corn over there, buddies. But there you go, some DIY corn coat that will last you a long time hopefully for pennies on the dollar now i have bought the corn coat before it's 15 bucks for like 200 pounds worth and uh so basically i just saved you 30 bucks um because my stuff costs less than seven if you buy the cheap brands from like a cheap store uh then you're gonna even save even more money but there you go guys like subscribe share this video share this channel that's how this channel grows and leave a comment let me know what you think. God bless.